What's going on everybody? How are you guys today? Hopefully you had a good week. I forgot to shoot an intro for this next video, but hey, what, what do you do? Busy, 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 right? So uh, let's get to the video right after this intro. Peace. Well, I know how much everybody loves to see some snow. I get these cleaned off. <laughs> Check this out. Woohoo! Fresh powder up here, uh, Rogers Pass. Tuesday morning, December 3rd. And we got a bit of a snowstorm. Oh, joy, joy, joy. Anyway, thought I'd show you guys my morning. <laughs> I guess you could say I jinxed myself by saying the roads were nice on my last video. Oh well, they're still pretty good going. Uh, it didn't get warm enough for there to get any buildup of moisture on the road, so there's still good traction. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on. I just thought I'd clean my taillights. Show you guys. It is, what time is it? 5.15 in the morning. Canyon brake check now. It is about 15 minutes down the road. Uh, just stopping to check the tail lights again. <laughs> getting a little better snow wise. Mind you, the temperature is getting warmer, so. Yeah, so the temperatures are get, getting a little warmer. Could start turning into slush. I'm really not one to complain, but I probably do, not really realizing that I'm doing it. But when you're driving in the winter, there is such a thing as too slow. When you're pulling hills and stuff, 40 kilometers an hour at the bottom of a hill and lower is way too slow. You have no momentum on slippery roads. That's the whole key to pulling a hill in a truck is momentum. I know it looks bad and everything right now, but like I can stuff my foot into it. It takes quite a bit to uh, spin the tires, so, and it didn't help that I was in a snow shed where the snow, it's more ice than snow. But here, if I were to do the same thing, okay, never mind. Bad example, bad example. <laughs> this is definitely somebody that's afraid to drive in the snow. And another thing when you start going this slow is your tires will get cold and then they don't grip as good. That's my own personal experience. For 20 years, I figured out, right, in that time. So, oh well, it is what it is. There's a passing lane coming up soon, so I'll, I'll be, hopefully be able to nip past them. Anyway, cheers. Oh, looky that. No more snow for now. Yeah, I'll just zip up here through the kicking horse, just, uh, east of Golden fairly dangerous stretch as you can see there's a cliff to your right and a mountain face to your left <laughs> this is a very beautiful stretch of road though it's got some gorgeous views Now that the sun's coming up, it is 8.24, it just gradually goes from black to 
of gray to maybe a bit of color. <laughs> Come around this corner and then we'll be on Five Mile Hill. And once we get around down Five Mile Hill and start going uphill again, that's Ten Mile Hill. battery's just about ready to die so hope to do a battery swap soon hopefully it'll stay on long enough to get this view around this corner that's pretty even though it's cloudy and glummy looking it's still I don't know cool every time I come through here I have I'm always looking I'm always looking <laughs> all right well this is lovely I was just informed by a highways crew guy that uh, the highways closed till noon and it's six in the morning so I guess I get to go to bed for a few hours. Lovely, eh? Start to stack up. Lovely. Stopped us right there, right at the gates. Nice. And goes all the way down around the corner. Awesome. And somebody likes to keep honking their horn. Just a little bit of fresh snow. But the roads are clear up ahead, just past where they have us stopped. Nice. quite the last leg of my trip. There's a fatal accident. 
and I got to sit on the side of the highway for uh, 11 hours. Good thing you can sleep during that time. I got the bunk and everything. Uh, feel sorry for the people that lost loved ones. Uh, two trucks decided that they were going to play chicken and no one chickened out. And both drivers did not survive. So it's not a good thing. Finally got back into Calgary. Oh, the traffic. An 11 hour road closure sure messed things up on the highway, especially a two lane highway with not very many passing lanes and stuff like that. So it just becomes pretty hectic. Funny thing is everybody around me, when I laid down sleeping away and all of a sudden I hear this clunk, clunk, jingle, jingle, dangle, whatever. And uh, stick my head out the curtain and everybody around me is putting their tire chains on. I'm like, whoa. Hmm. So I uh, grab the phone and I go on to drive BC and check the chain up requirements for the area and there's not a single chain up requirement in BC at all so I'm like I'm not gonna put my chains on and uh, once we got past from where we were parking it was a little snow covered but it had been worked all day there was lots of sand on it it was a nice skimming of snow and they didn't polish it with their blades or anything like that and it was good going and uh, <laughs> i got past everybody that had to stop and take their jeans off it was a uh, good that way took a bunch of video hopefully it uh, comes out all right anyway i got another uh, 45 minute drive to an hour drive to get home from here so everybody have a good one and uh catch you on the next one. Cheers.